Hi everyone, welcome back to Kim Help ASAP. In this video, we are going to be working with colligative properties. Now specifically, we are going to be working with changes in freezing point and changes in boiling point. You will definitely need your calculator for this one. Let's get started. While many physical properties are affected when you add a solute, we are going to focus on two. The first being boiling point elevation. So when you add a solute, you are going to raise the boiling point of that pure solvent. Here is the equation we use to calculate how much the boiling point will change. Our Kb is a constant for that solvent. So if you look at the table at the bottom of the page, you can see we have Kb's for three different solvents, and they are all very different. We also need the concentration measured in molality. The second property we will look at is freezing point depression. So when you add a solute, you are going to lower the freezing point of the pure solvent. Here is our equation for calculating that change. Again, we have a constant for each solvent. So looking at the table at the bottom of the page, here are three constants for our different solvents. Again, very different depending on the solvent. We will also measure concentration in molality. Let's work some problems. If 1.6 kilograms of sucrose is added to a pot that contains 2.10 kilograms of water, what is the new boiling point of water? Let's first identify our solvent and let's find our constant. So we're looking for the new boiling point of water. Therefore, water is our solvent. So looking at our table, this is the constant we want. We want the boiling point elevation constant. And as a reminder, the boiling point of pure water is 100 degrees C. The other thing that we are going to need is we are going to need the concentration of our sucrose and we need it in molality. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this 1.6 kilograms of sucrose into moles. The nice thing is I have the molecular formula and I also have the molar mass. So this conversion should be very straightforward. Starting with by 1.6 kilograms of sucrose, first I'm just gonna convert that to grams. Then I'm gonna take my grams using my molar mass, I'm converting to moles and I get 4.67 moles of sucrose. Here is my formula for molality. I've just calculated my moles of solute or my moles of sucrose. I need my kilograms of solvent. Well, I was given kilograms of solvent right here. So let's put what we know in this equation. Here are my 4.67 moles of sucrose and my 2.1 kilograms of water. So my molality is 2.23. Now we are ready to calculate how much the boiling point is going to change. So here is my equation for my change in boiling point. I have already picked out my Kb, so let's put that in right here, my 0.51, and I just calculated my concentration, my 2.23. So my boiling point is going to change by 1.14 degrees Celsius. Now it is important to remember that this is how much the boiling point is going to change. This is not the new boiling point. Because our solvent is water, we know our original boiling point is 100 degrees Celsius. So we are going to add how much it's going to change to that boiling point. So here's our 100 degrees C. Here is how much we're going to change. So our new boiling point is 101.14 degrees Celsius. Many students get tripped up on this last step. They take the change in boiling point and make that the new boiling point. But our new boiling point, of course, is not 1.14 degrees Celsius. That's simply how much it is going to be elevated. Let's work a problem where we're gonna depress the freezing point. How many grams of methylene chloride must be added to 350 grams of chloroform to lower the freezing point to negative 75 degrees Celsius? In this case, we know what our new freezing point is, so we need to go back and figure out what our concentration is. Let's see what we need from our table. So here is chloroform. We're looking for the constant for the freezing point depression. And our freezing point of our pure solvent is negative 63.5 degrees Celsius. So first we wanna know how much did our freezing point change? 
our change in freezing point is simply our original freezing point minus our new freezing point. You could have probably done this in your head, but our freezing point changed by 11.5 degrees Celsius. Again, it dropped 11.5 degrees Celsius. Here's my equation for the change in freezing point. In this case, I know how much my freezing point changed, and I also, of course, know my constant, so I'm going to calculate my molality. Let's plug numbers in. Here is how much my freezing point changed. Here is my constant for my freezing point. I am solving for M. I do want to point out that my Celsius cancels. So this is one place where students can get tripped up. If you had measured your change in freezing point in Fahrenheit or maybe Kelvin, you would need to convert to Celsius. But let's go ahead and solve for this molality. So our molality is 2.45. Now we're trying to get to grams of methylene chloride. Our methylene chloride, of course, is our solute in this case. We have our concentration. We know how much solvent we have. So we should be able to at least get to moles. And of course, once we have moles, it's an easy conversion to grams. So here's our equation for molality. Plugging in what we know, here is our concentration. We do not know our moles of methylene chloride, but we do know our kilograms of solvent. Of course, I simply converted to kilograms because I was given grams in the problem. So our moles of methylene chloride is 0.856. But we have one more step. We need to get to grams. Thankfully, the problem did give us our molar mass. That's always very handy. So using that molar mass right here, I get 72.7 grams of methylene chloride. So a relatively small amount of methylene chloride lowered the freezing point of the chloroform quite a bit. I hope you now understand a little bit better why salting sidewalks and roads in winter is so important. Thanks so much for watching.